everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. It's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hey, Emma. Ooh, what do you have there? An ice cream. Yummy. Okay, finish it quickly so we can go outside and play. Okay, Auntie. Ouch! What's wrong, Emma? Well, I was eating my ice cream so fast, I felt my head hurt. That sounds like a brain freeze, Emma. A brain freeze? How does that work, Auntie? Does the ice cream freeze the brain? No, Emma, the brain doesn't actually get frozen. Oh, phew, a brain freeze happens because when you eat something really cold like ice cream, it hits the roof of our mouth called your palate. And when this happens, the blood vessels that travel from the mouth to the brain get really nervous. Yikes, this is really cold, they say. Warning alert, we need to get Emma warm fast. Silly arteries, I'm not even cold. Exactly, but they don't know that. Emma's mouth is cold, they say. Let's give blood to her fast to warm her up. So the arteries in the back of your head squeeze blood quickly to the palate to warm it up. Go blood, go. After they constrict to squeeze the blood, they then begin to relax. Phew. Emma's temperature is now okay. Let's relax, everyone. This quick change in blood flow from squeezing to relaxing confuses your brain. Whoa, what is going on over here, says the brain. A nerve that goes from your mouth and face to your brain, called the trigeminal nerve, is the troublemaker causing all the confusion. It sees this sudden change in blood flow. Hmm. Looks like trouble going on over here. I better tell the brain what's going on. Once the nerve sends signals to the brain, the brain says, ouch, this trouble must be causing me pain. Why else would I need blood so quickly? Wow, Auntie, that silly trigeminal nerve looks like a tattletale to me. Yep, exactly, Emma. So, Auntie, how do we stop the brain freeze? Well, Emma, you need to tell your brain quickly that it's not too cold. So we can either stop eating the ice cream. Whoa, whoa, auntie, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, or at least slow down eating the ice cream. Hmm, okay, I can try that. Or we can eat or drink something warm right after the ice cream, like warm water, for example. If you don't have anything nearby that is warm, you can put your tongue or your thumb on the roof of your mouth, which are warm and can do just the trick. Great, Auntie, that's a good idea. So, Auntie, is brain freeze dangerous? Nope, Emma, it's not dangerous at all, and we can easily prevent it from happening by taking our time when we eat and drink. But ice cream is so yummy, but I guess I could slow down a little with eating ice cream. But not with my running. The last one of the playground gets a brain freeze. All right, let's go, Emma. Goodbye, everybody. I'm gonna get there faster, Auntie. All right, Emma. Bye, everybody. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you wanna see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.